Okay, so as people are onboarding, okay, I just want to put on the record and say thank you so much to Kasha and to Darlove for their most their wonderful work that they do with the uh, community celebration each month. Okay, uh, in that last hour, we just had the most incredible celebration. And what is that celebration? The celebration is the law of acquisition in place. Isn't that gorgeous? We are actually growing through the law of acquisition, Noble Goldman. And we heard about how many million that um, Mark wants to bring on board in, in this decade, you know, into Noble Goldman. And imagine us being at the spearhead of such a beautiful quantum movement. Isn't that gorgeous? So absolutely precious work. And remembering that everyone that's that's giving into this platform, that is on this platform, are actually delivering. They are the faces of Noble Goldman, you know. So it's so important, the work that each and every one of us is doing. Okay, it's absolutely precious work. You know, from crypto to whatever it is that we're doing, it's like, oh, my goodness. I love that first statement in the law of acquisition um, training that I do, it says, I'm currently living all that I am a vibrational match to. Okay. Oh, I love that. That gives me gooses every time. Okay. I am currently living all that I'm a vibrational match to. Just think about that. Feel it for a moment. Ah, oh, where you're sitting right now. I am currently living all that I am a vibrational match to as a creator. It just brings so much joy to my heart because when I realize that I'm the one that I'm a vibrational match to, you know, good, bad or horrid, <laughs> When I realized that I was creating the whole lot, it's like, damn, girl, <laughs> I can change this, okay? I am the one that's a, currently living what I am a vibrational match to according to what I've been projecting onto my quantum field. That is the most powerful statement. And this, you know, along the line we go, oh, and now what would I like to invest in? What would I like to invest in? What would I like to become a vibrational match to next? Isn't that unlimited possibility? Okay. Can you see how you can jump through hoops coming from I'm a vibrational match to my plan B world? Okay. When I was back to front, upside down. And here I am now as a sovereign soul going, I'm going to own my sovereignty. Okay, I'm going to own my sovereignty. It's my soul that keeps me upright on my feet. I am. I am that I am. <laughs> I'm a creator. Oh, right. Okay. So I can sit back and go, whoa, well, that was a trip, wasn't it? Plan B was quite the trip. I had no idea that I was creating four body unwellness, mental, emotional, spiritual, physical unwellness. Ah, oh, that means that now I can say, oh, I'm not doing that anymore. Okay, that kind of hurt. <laughs> I'm not going to so into that. Okay. Because what we sow, we reap. Quantum law, number one. Energy goes where I intend it to flow. Own it. Own it. Own it. I direct the energy. I project from myself onto my own quantum field that's in my vibrational light body. Why is that the first work that we do with Diamond Matrix Masters in our school and in our healing is to set up your vibrational light body so that you're in perfect harmony and peace with your higher self, your sovereign soul, your divine feminine, divine masculine, divine inner child, the triune being, 
so that you are taking from your whole self. I am my total address. Ah, I, you are a temple of the living God, it says. I am a temple. What does that mean? I am a multidimensional light body. And that's why we set you up and clear all the stuff out and we defrag your pain bodies and we take all and heal the wounded child and we remove these massive lineages that you've had coming in and out of 3D and we sign off soul contracts so that you can say, I'm currently living alone, that I am a vibrational match to is next. Oh, my God, I'm actually expanding without all of that. Man, that's like getting rid of that great big old story and just dropping it to your feet. Visualize it now. Visualize it. Make a decision because on your universe of inclusion that you're including right now, you don't need your past. You rarely hear me talk about the past, do you? Do you ever hear me talking about my past? No. No, yes, I did hear something about your past the, the, before you were working for the Matrix, but that's it. A little bit of background, sure, but I don't go into the depths because my stories don't belong to me anymore. And this is when we're letting that cloak fall off us and letting it drop to our feet and walking free. Oh, let's walk out of that. Okay, let's walk out of it. Mm, decision. Right now we're tweaking your reality. Okay, you just made a decision. Who made the decision? You just did then. You tweaked your reality. You changed what you were going to have influence your quantum field, influence your today, influence what you're projecting tomorrow. That's why we're told, do not push hardship out into your future. Who pushes it out? You do. Don't push hardship out into your future. You should write that down. I'm currently living all that I'm vibrational match to. We're getting rid of the skeletons in our closet, okay? And all of those skeletons are... They were frightening to me. It was like, oh, my God, another one and another one and another one. It was ever learning, ever changing, ever trying to heal. No. Okay, I am a creator. Bring yourself into that moment in a holy instant. Okay, I am a creator. I am. You're a soul. It keeps you upright on your feet. Sit in your soulship right now. Put on your crown. I've been talking about my crown. Watch this. Oh, I've got my crown here. <clears throat> See? I was out and about one day. <clears throat> People have been putting their stuff out in the street for collection and this perfect crown sitting there and I go, oh, my God, and I was riding around in the car with my crown on. Tip to the side, have a bit of attitude with your sovereignty, okay? <laughs> <You're>, <clears throat> you have rulership, you have sovereignty. Sovereignty, you rule your vibration. You rule your output. Isn't that cool? All right, put your crown on right now. Put your crown on. Feel your crown. I am currently living all that I am a vibrational match to. Oh, I just put my crown on. You've just tweaked your reality just then. Okay, and your board of directors, your triune being goes and reconfigures, do, 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 makes all of the changes in your brain structure, your nervous system. Straight away, tweak, mm, new reality, new world, new eyes. Do you remember when you were like this little baby with its little eyes just looking out over the surface of your Maya? 
that you were stuck in. Okay, like being caught in a in a mire. Okay, and then you just see out of it and go, oh, there's a whole new world out there. I didn't realize. Wow, there's freedom. Wow, I can create. Wow, I am influencing something. What are you influencing? Your own quantum field. Isn't that cool? It's in your body. Your quantum field is in your body, in your light body. It's in you. And you create your vibrational world through knowing that you are a vibrational creator and everything that you include in your universe of included inclusion is included. Okay. I remember this one day my partner was doing this rah-rah, not this my current partner who's just a delightful joy and angel. My last partner was a bit rah-rah. Okay, and one day I was doing a rah-rah in my face and I go, oh, and I just listened to Abraham Hicks who said, okay, do not put it into your universe of inclusion. And I go, oh, my God, after she left that, the scene, I'm going, no, because I can come, you can come into alignment and you come at peace, but you still have these things showing up in your universe of inclusion because you've added them, allowed them. And I just went, no, no, I will not have this in my universe of inclusion. And do you know what? Within two minutes, she rang me on the phone and goes, you know what? I just miss you. Heart to heart, soul to soul. In a holy instant, this alchemy changes. As soon as you take something out of your universe inclusion, I want you to know it happens immediately. We're not waiting for it to come. It happens because I, as a creator, okay, took that out of my universe of inclusion. I go, no, I will not have this. I withdrew knowing consent. No, I do not give knowing consent. As a free will creator, you have the power of free will. And I want you to know how powerful that is. No, I will not see the earth destroyed. No, I will not see separation between my brother or my sister, whoever that is. I will not have separation going on. Because if you believe in that and you're adding it into your universe inclusion, by the law of acquisition, so it is. Isn't that amazing? So who's allowing this by the law of acquisition? We are. We are our own oppressor. Okay, when we're actually releasing these beliefs, we talk about beliefs, but what's a belief, okay? It's something that you are acquiring through what you are laying a rule, which is human law, to instead of universal law, which is based in unconditional love. Isn't that beautiful? When you apply unconditional love of the diamond energy, the Christos within you, the Buddhi intellect, the perfection, the oneness of source comes in. And like I've said before, the soul fire just flicks it all off, transforms it, and that's called alchemy. So we are in every split second doing alchemy. We're retweaking our world using our own board of directors. Isn't that beautiful? Who does it? You do it. So every time you're actually tweaking, okay, I love the word tweaking. It simplifies everything, doesn't it? It's just happening automatically. There's no judgment in tweaking. You can actually self-judge, but why bother, okay? Trust me, I'm really good at this one. But why bother? And then we tweak it and we come back into alignment, which is that beautiful energy that Dr. Kim brought to us this morning, and you can actually feel that okay let's feel the presence fill up right now just take it in
filling up your light body. Feel it in your brain. Feel the diamond energy going in your brain. We do a impartation. And when we let it go into the brain, feel your brain right now. I'm joining with you. Feel that relaxation. It's a good word, isn't it? Just feeling that relaxation come through your brain, letting the diamond energy, which is your soul, sovereign self, who knows you intimately. Let it do all the work. You might feel a little bit of a, a pain come up. Just send it to the fifth. Your free will is the creator. And you say, I do not give knowing consent to this. Keep going to the fifth and it will keep moving. The pain will move out of your body because you direct it to. You'll feel things popping. I want you to feel your brain. It is a living organ. Oh, it's reconfiguring right now with your own universe of inclusion as we come into alignment and the unconditional love is relaxing the concepts you've had of 3D Earth and things you've been worried about. This is what meditation actually does, but we can do it in a holy instant instead of hours of meditation. You can turn this on in a holy instant. Right now, feeling there, there, there's a lot of work going in, in right down deep, all the way back at the, the cerebellum. Yeah, feeling that relaxation. And you might feel that big sigh come through. I love that sigh. Always looking for the sigh in my clients. When I get them to that point, it's like they've let go and you just feel that oh, sense of relief. Letting go. And then sooner or later, okay, this beautiful diamond energy comes then into your heart and into your heart chakra, and it actually resets the heart rhythm. Your heart chakra rhythm is reset. And for those who've suffered trauma, mental health, when your heart rhythm is reset, the trauma is taken from your system. Isn't that beautiful? That's why I love healers. I love people that do healing. I love our Joan. Okay, one of the, you have no idea what is actually happening to your internal workings when energy is released, and when you, through your permission, receive by your own free will. You're saying yes. So just receiving, now sending it out to the rest of your body. Whew. So the diamond energy is your board of directors, your triune being, harmonizing, joining with you in the spark of your heart chakra. I want you to focus in on your heart right now. Just receive. There's no work to be done. There's nothing to change or fix about you. It's all about alignment. And this is alignment. Isn't that cool? There is nothing to change or fix about you. When you're at peace, when you're at peace, you're in unconditional love. And there's nothing to change or fix about you. When you're at peace, there's nothing to change or fix about you. That's when you're in soul sovereignty. Now, let's introduce that beautiful statement again. I am currently living all that I am a vibrational match to. See the difference? 
see the difference? Oh my God, right now in this beautiful moment, I am currently living all that I am a vibrational match to. The I am presence is present. You are whole. There's nothing to change or fix about you. No work to be done. No, you don't need your psych appointment this week. <laughs> ah, just fill up. I am currently living all that I am a vibrational match to. And you come into this alignment and you go, right, I am a unit of light. What do I want to expand into? What do I want to invest in next? I love that word invest. That means that I am intelligently engaging with what I want to expand into. <clears throat> Isn't that gorgeous? Whoa, you can have anything you like. I became like a child in a lolly shop, a kid in a lolly shop. All these goodies. Oh, which one shall I have next? What would I like? See, I was like a child who was on the outside of the shop. I couldn't go into the shop. I was window shopping and going, oh, I so want all of that stuff. I'd like to live an expanded life, but I'm on the, the outside looking in. And so many people live their lives on the outside of that looking in. Not anymore. <laughs> We're going in. We're in. That's the difference between consciousness and being unconscious. Being back to front to yourself is outside of the lolly shop. Oh, that's a horrible place to live. Oh, I so desire expansion. I so want this and that, and I can't manifest. I can't bring it into my life. But when I come into alignment, I am and I can. Oh, that was a nice line. You should write that down. Works for me. So you can have anything that you want. And Abraham Hicks teaches that you can, you will expand incrementally. You will vibrationally match. Listen to those words. You will vibrationally match what it is that comes to mind next. Oh, what came to mind? Okay, now this is the beauty of this teaching of the law of acquisition. What came to mind? Did you just wrap something or in actual fact because you're in alignment, you go, oh, I'd like these goodies. Oh, I'd like to do this. I'd like peace in my home. Okay. I would like to expand more financially. I might explore and have a bit of an adventure in that. I can tell you I've been on an adventure myself this week according to what I am a vibrational match to. Isn't that cool? And I go, oh, that was it was actually a steep learning curve for me, okay? Tony will be giggling in the background there because I got myself into gold and silver. Well, that wasn't an easy process considering I've never been in the crypto world before, have no idea of the complexities. And how quickly I have to do things. I had to upskill myself. You should have seen my partner and I doing these things. Well, I became, I did. I'm, we made it. You know, we made it over that speed bump. Who put the speed bump there? I did. Oh, it's all scary when we go to the next vibrational match. Is it scary? Oh, no, because it's like there's this underlining, I want to do this. So you've got this going on in your framework. I've always wanted to do this. And then, okay, then you've got to actually come to being a vibrational match to it. And then we got over that 
thing. You see, things come difficult or seem to be difficult, but it's only because of what I've had in my escrow, okay? And then we line up and end up living as the divine inner child who is the experiencer. And now I've got a little bit of something that I'm playing with, okay, a whole new world that I've never looked at before. Isn't that cool? So I become a vibrational match. I incrementally expand as a creator into the next thing and the next thing. And I'm, I, I buy vibrational absolutes. You can write down this word, vibrational absolutes. I get a knowing from my divine feminine. I want you to trust that. You get a knowing, you get a dream, a vision, a thought. And I want you to start saying, I thought it and so I did it. Write that down. I thought it and so I do it. And this keeps your toilet roll pure. What's your toilet roll? Your toilet roll is your soul script. Ah, and we become unentangled from other people's soul scripts because actually so many of us don't even live on our soul script because we're minding each other's toilet rolls instead of minding our own toilet roll, unfolding my toilet roll, my next vibrational match, what I am about to incrementally expand into and if I'm over there looking at somebody else's toilet roll and going, why are you doing that? Why, why are you doing that? Well, I'm interrupting their toilet roll and saying, excuse me, other creator, why are you doing what you're doing? Mind your own business. Mind your own energetic business. It's got nothing to do with us what another creator is creating. Okay? I thought it and so I do it. Thank you, Kobe. All right, this is where we rise. We rise and get off our stump, as Abraham Hicks says, get off your stump and go and do something. What is depression? What is despair? It is a compressed energetic body that's sitting on a stump and too frightened to move. Okay, how do we come out of that? We say, I had a thought and so I did it. Isn't that incredibly easy? And what happens is I rise, oh, I thought to go do something, and then I became a vibrational match to my thought that came from me. Where did it come from? Not somebody else, not your parents that you're rebelling to. No, I'm not going to do anything because my parents did this to me. I'm wounded. No, you're not. Okay. You're actually thinking for yourself, always have been thinking for yourself. Time to let go of these excuses. You've always had a sovereign soul. We just weren't taught about it. That's the beauty part of it. And there's no judgment. We just weren't taught how to function. And that's why I teach this stuff. So here we are coming to a place now of deliberate creating much more fun. Okay. I'm just going to share um, some alchemy today, some pure alchemy that you can use to change your life. <clears throat> Law of acquisition. We've been doing don't play the game in the other diamonds quantum law. We've got the last one going on this week. But don't play the game. Of course, that is a massive framework that we're removing from your life when you can understand the victim, intimidate, a rescue, a triangle that we go and entangle ourselves on other people's toilet rolls and get involved in. Oh, my goodness, to come out of that, it's like that's letting the whole of the Piscarian age go so that I can be the Aquarian 
okay sovereign soul creator right now so we're in amazing space to create now the energies are so high really as you think it comes to you and you can have anything that you want because you're a magnet in your alignment we don't need creation streams we don't need creation wrapping i'm thinking about starting the whole school off again so we might do that again otherwise you can get it um, from me or book in and we'll do it so <clears throat> everything is changing okay what i've been a vibrational match to before i'm no longer a vibrational match to so <clears throat> let's give you one and we've already explored it before okay because the idea of using quantum principles and quantum law is that, that there is this alchemy within it it's called the logos the living word the logos the living word every time i bring one of these through to you and you learn it and apply it you're actually applying the living word which dissolves it actually does the alchemy it even as you've pixelated a false vibrational world for yourself through fear through listening to the news whatever it is when you apply these basic principles quantum principles they dissolve that vibrational world they depixelate it so it comes together as a pixelated vortex or world that you've created in your soul sovereignty your soul goes really do we have to do this okay but no i'm determined to believe these things and so yes i do believe in this unwellness however add these principles to it so the first one that I start with is I withdraw knowing consent, okay? And that is saying that you as a free will creator, no, I do not give knowing consent to this, which is a part of the quantum law principle of um, I will not give a negative report. No, I will not give a negative report. You see, dualistic beliefs, dualism, good versus bad, right versus wrong, okay, has negativity built into it. I'm sure you understand that. It was like oversimplified, wasn't it? Okay, so I will not give a negative report. What's the world giving out? Negative report after negative report after negative report. Is that a judgment? Oh, well, it's what we actually see. But when I come into alignment, and you felt your alignment with the energy flowing through you in that state of isness, you do not give a negative report because you're in alignment. And when you're at peace, when you're in harmony, when your whole body is in harmony and you feel the resistance dissolve, the resistance just goes. Now that's what these will do for you. Okay, I do not believe a negative report. I do not give a negative report. If we actually utter out of our mouths, out of our thoughts, out of our feelings, a negative report on something, we are projecting it straight up. If I've got it in my universe of inclusion and I'm projecting that, I am projecting a negative report. I am the one that is projecting it. And by the law of reflection, it has to come up into my lived experience. And by the law of acquisition, so it is. Okay, the law of acquisition will deliver to you what it is that you are including in your vibrational makeup. So I've spent years detoxing my mental mind. Okay. Yes. Then I emptied out my emotional body and then I detoxed my physical body. Okay. I've been through all of this. Okay. To come into the knowledge that I now have. Do not believe a negative report. Do not give a negative report. There's always an opposite. It, it's like a 3D thing. When you look at the Course of Miracles, it has all of these living words within it, and you can literally go around it 
and look at it from every area of your life. So when you kind of go around the mountain, you'll actually see that principle as you introduce it to every realm of your life. It's like doing a 360 around yourself and you'll absolutely get it, which transforms your total life. So we don't just apply a sovereign law into, oh, I'll just use it in relationships, but not over here with finances. Okay, no, you use it. It is a full realm consciousness. So a quantum law brings you into total consciousness in a holy instant. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, it's consciousness. It's it's bringing you back to your full conscious state of being, which is in alignment with your higher self. And in that place, there is nothing to change or fix about you. Oh, wow. No work to be done. Isn't that hard? It, it's difficult to get yourself around it. But wow, the greatest rest that you've got nothing to change or fix about you when you're in harmony. <clears throat> We've looked at another one. Triggered emotions are based in control. Triggered emotions. If I've got a triggered emotion that's bringing a tear, a pity party, anger, frustration, it means that I'm out of alignment. I'm in duality. Come back into alignment, run that, clear that tear up, get rid of the pity party, no tantrums, no chucking tantrums like a three-year-old. Okay, no, but no going, where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? <laughs> okay, we have lots of fun with that. Okay, so when we're actually throwing tantrums, tantrums, a little tanty or two, we are including that in our universe of inclusion. I'm frustrated, I'm frustrated, I'm frustrated. Where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? And that is what I am projecting. And the quantum field must give it to you exactly as you are projecting it. Why? Because you are the one who decrees and gets what they get from the law of acquisition. Yeah, go, Dala. This will be interesting. <laughs> Always is. She says this will be interesting. Actually, I want to really talk into that because lately, you know, I have really been walking a lot of things out and everybody's obviously watched what's been going on in my life um, that is connected with me on Facebook and with Joe as well, you know, what I have to say, though, is once you actually begin working in that love, the alchemy is love. It's coming from the center. It's the heart of everything. And once you begin actually walking, no matter it doesn't matter what you're walking in. And what, what I wanted to share is this whole thing with everything else. Well, for me to get it was actually finding my soulmate, finding that actually began setting things up for me. I came home. And I have people that I've never met before, nothing connected with Noble Gold. And the resources are already just flowing in. I've been getting phone calls where people are like, hey, I'd like to meet with you so that we can set up. I've had three people that I may be onboarding in my business because they're looking for a way to actually achieve their goals and do things. So I have now moved. Not only am I doing the art of learning self-love and the importance of loving yourself, that everything, when you begin loving you, everything else can flow to you. But but I'm actually being able to show people how you can create your world full of imagination. And it literally starts out of love. When you finally flow right into that space, in that alchemy of it, there is nothing that gets in the way. That is what I wanted to share with you. It, there, it, it just opens the, all the doors all the way around you and it, it just flows into you. All you do is get up and just receive. Just get up and actually lay there in the morning and think your gratitudes didn't get up and write them write them right make sure you write them because writing them is so vitally important because now you're actually taking an effort and an action to it and it just begins just to throw open the floodgates for and your life that's so true 
<laughs> okay, I'm going to take my class back because Dala's got her own. Okay. <laughs> She is amazing. Okay, this woman is big, big heart, but she's living. I am now, what am I now a current vibrational match to? Okay, this woman has just come into, okay, the most amazing, amazing vibrational match to love itself. And it also has the um, beauty of the divine masculine, divine feminine in two souls coming together as one which is a sacred union, okay? When we blessed you, you were actually married, okay? Just so you know. Sorry, you have been blessed. So <clears throat> this union, it says where two or three come together in my name, I am in the midst. So you've got this magnif magnified version of creatorship going on and, and Dala has, has done this, okay? Um, how has she done it? Because for years she's been calling it in. She's been coming into consciousness, okay, coming into her isness of being. So she's been coming out of the game, which bogged her down, into this. I am, and then another I am comes, goes, yes, you are. We are together. And so we've had this magnificent union. So it's a, it's a beautiful space and then you can create anything and you come become conscious and you become confident confident okay that's why i teach on self mastery level 1 to get people across that bridge into sovereignty okay that's what we're doing we're crossing people from here into here all right and there's not too many people yet in here coming up through this portal Okay, in the world, we're just coming into the new elephant leadership through the love, the rose, the unconditional love is, is being poured into this earth now. So we're coming into an amazing time in earth history. And by the law of acquisition, we are becoming the conscious master, knowing how to create. But this class is so important and that diamond law, quantum law masterclass is so important because Without understanding quantum law, we would just become a master that blurts out a whole lot of miscreations like we were. Okay, so quantum law and understanding quantum law and how these principles work is really, really important. Okay, uh, conqueror needs a battle to overcome. Imagine we've taught on this in the game in the other class okay a conqueror needs a battle to overcome i really encourage you to listen to those recordings but a victor has the gates open before them oh what a powerful statement and by the law of acquisition so it is a battle a conqueror let's go slow on that a conqueror is a person who has to conquer everything Okay, I love the, the um, endurance as a quality. So I, I built endurance into my system. I had to rise above the challenges. I had to be brave. I used these values to create more struggle. <laughs> Who was doing it? I was. I am currently living all that I am a vibrational match to. Okay, so it's like just, oh, there's, magnificent wisdoms that come through that I can say, no, I'm not doing plan B anymore. Let's hold on a moment. So I'm currently living all that I'm vibrational match to. A conqueror needs a battle to overcome. You're a creator. But the victor has the gates open before you. Okay, so as my vibration clears and I get rid of those speed bumps and those little hurdles and I expect less and less and I can get through things so much quicker, I become a vibrational match and I expand so much easier as I become a victor and your soul sovereign you is just bringing on opportunities. This is what Dala was saying, bringing more in, bringing more in. Okay. This is a very powerful one that I brought up the other day. I will not put myself under scrutiny. 
You are not to scrutinize yourself. I love this word. Okay, I love this word. But it's based in the quantum law principle that came through. Judge not, lest you be judged. Now, as soon as you scrutinize something, anyone scrutinize is judgment. Okay, that's why we say have no judgments nor opinions. Well, some people can become quite offended by that. That's why it always say, also says do not take offense. Okay, some of these things I teach from Christianity, some from Buddhism, some from Hindu, all over the place. But do not take offense. If you take offense, you're putting something under scrutiny, you are forming a judgment. And so if you want the game of duality to live and vibrationally come up and you feel, oh, I feel so stressed, okay, I'm really anxious about something, it's because I'm judging something. I'm either remembering something from my past or projecting it into my future, but I am really feeling anxious right now. And to get on top of anxiety is to come into your alignment and do not put yourself under scrutiny. Okay, so you can be scrutinized by your peers. Okay, I actually understand that one. It's like, I'm not good enough. I haven't spent thousands and thousands of dollars on, a, on Bowen therapy. Okay, I came through initiation processes. Where's your certificate for that? How can I prove who I am? Well, you can't. However, You've got to come out of self-scrutiny. You have to be who you are as a sovereign soul and your authority to come through and your authority will be proven in your expansion. Isn't that beautiful? And the opportunities that come up and by the law of acquisition, you will gain that. Okay. So do not scrutinize, not yourself, not others. Okay, and do not put your soul under scrutiny because if you don't believe in your soul, if you don't believe in your sovereignty, that's a third reflection level. How do I do this to myself? Oh, how, how do I do this myself to others? How do I do this to myself? How do I do this to my soul is in direct proportion to what you are currently living a vibrational match to. Isn't that amazing? It's built into us. I'm currently living all that I am a vibrational match to. I love it. Expand by not allowing all of this scrutiny to happen. No judgments, no opinions. This is a powerful flatliner of, um, um, of a miscreation is I will not make an enemy of my brother. Whew, I will not make an enemy of my sister which, of course, if I've put scrutiny on someone, if I've actually projected a judgment or opinion, think about your family. How are your family relationships? Yeah, that's someone that gets up your nose. Okay. All right. Well, I will not make, a ju I will not make an enemy of my brother. Mm. And as you project and you bring their light body to you, and as you project that old historical story and you're feeling it, you're feeling it, that is a judgment and opinion, that is alchemy that has come from the game. It's living. It's a living vibration. I feel this. Yes, you do. And you're living the vibrational law of reflection as that person gets up your nose even more triggers you triggered emotions are based in control really i will not make an enemy of my brother hmm. i will not make an enemy of my sister feel these words this is the living logos that brings the alchemy to dissolve the vibrational world that you've created with that other person whoa this is beautiful stuff mm. even as we sparked it and i'm living it because of my judgments and my feelings and i was hurt at the time yes sure you have every right to feel like this i will not judge myself i send this 
um, energy to my heart to be neutralized, purified, and sent to the fifth dimension and above. In the book, we have um, the alchemy triangle. Okay, you just get the book for that. It's the most amazing technique to dissolve negative energies and you're actually bringing it back up through your light system okay it's very powerful but this is something else so all of these are tools that you can work within any of these hidden private moments that you're struggling with something you can transform it through alchemy and by the law of acquisition so it is it harmonizes it and returns it to unconditional love and you'll start attracting rather than repelling life. Isn't that beautiful? Law of attraction, attraction, bringing in the expansion. There's nothing to change or fix about me. Oh, wow. Feel your heart on that one. Did you feel this little burst of love come into your heart? There's nothing to change or fix about me. Feel your heart chakra right now. See that? Did you feel it? Did you feel it? Did you feel it? I want you to know you experienced it right then. This is a living Logos word. There is nothing to change or fix about me that came from the Course of Miracles. And your heart goes, ah. And it sighs. And everything from your lower three seals, the lower three chakras, comes up and your heart goes munch, 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 like ghost munches, munch, 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 and does the transformation. So the purification of your of your um, miscreations, uh, energies that are caught in your psyche, which causes depression, which causes stress, which causes PTSD, which causes cancer in your belly and lower, and out into your lymph systems, all of that is created from not bringing it back up and recycling it into your heart center. So feeling your heart center right now, I want you to feel it. It's going off. Okay. It's doing the work. It's actually neutralizing all energies that have split into dualistic stories. And it's coming back up through your vibrational system into your heart. This is your physical light body heart, heart chakra. And then we send it to the fifth. So visualizing this purified energy going back to the fifth dimension and above, which is the galactic heart, which is going all the way back through to Alcyon, which is the center of our, our universe. And all of these alignments have been happening over the last couple of years for us to come back into our divinity, our divine connection. Isn't this beautiful? Who's enjoying this? <clears throat> Thank you. I've brought in this lovely one, again, from the Course of Miracles. You have to understand that when these came to me, I was actually fretting, anxious, in the game, in judgment, and these came to me because I needed them, okay, in that holy instant. They came to me, no consequences. Two words, no consequences. Whatever you've been fretting about, if you've created a vibrational story that you are living by the law of acquisition, <clears throat> two, no consequences, no consequences. Feel it right now. Just you breathe in the word so you actually breathe it in through your light body no consequences and you had this vibrational story going on ah oh, no consequences dissolves it disperses it it does not exist and by the power of the silver flame which is grace elohim grace Grace, the law of grace says there are no laws. There's no human laws in grace. Grace Elohim is one of the highest angelic um, uh, groups of being and intelligences and that, that you can get, which is there is no law. There's no Piscean age. 
So as soon as you apply, which means there is no karma, nor cause, nor effect. So as soon as you would trigger the Piscarian age of duality, there is cause and therefore effect. And by the law of reflection, the law of acquisition, so it must be. Because you're a creator and you decreed it. As soon as you dissolve and bring in Grace Elohim, the silver ray, joining with the violet flame of St. Germain, the violet flame transmutes. So what belongs to me is transmuted back to light. It's recycled. What belongs to that other person is recycled and there is no karmic cause and effect. doesn't matter what it is. Nothing, nothing cannot be dissolved in these two words. That's how powerful it is. There is nothing, no story, no belief, no nothing that can stand in the power of this purity. So no consequences is no laws. When there's human laws, that's why I wrote this book, wherever it is, okay, it's to teach you that when you come out of human law by utilising universal law, then there are no laws and you come into the perfection of your God-given natural being. In pure innocence, you are totally innocent. It is only by the human laws, the directives that we've given to ourselves or had put upon us that has made us less than whole. Okay? Woo, feel that in your heart. Your heart chakra is doing the work right now. Feel it. You can feel it, can't you? And we join as a group. And we're going munch, 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 purifying that energy, letting go of those stories right now. You're making decisions. I can feel you making decisions. <sighs> That's what us empathic peoples do. Okay, we're telepathic, aren't we? And feel each other and then as a group we come in and we're actually doing the work together <sighs> happens in split seconds it's amazing what we can do as one one consciousness one mind let's give you one more okay this came from um abraham hicks i touched on it before i have nothing more to learn i have nothing more to learn Many people find this offensive, truly the spiritual community, the counselling community, psychological community. We want to be actually poking a stick at everything. Well, where did you get this from? Okay, and then we go into our records. Which lifetime did this come from? So let's just add, you know, let's just add another 7,000 lives of cause and effect and go, oh, I'll just get this little seed out flick it okay that could take you many lifetimes which by the way is why we've lived many lifetimes to get to the last lifetime on this planet if you choose okay because the aquarian age is now here and the piscarian age is okay that's why this is so important isn't that beautiful i have nothing more to learn that's a big jump, okay? The law of acquisition school, mind you, is the third part of the quantum living with four body wellness school. So you've got to understand I've already set up your light body. I've always already removed all of this stuff. Already taught don't play the game. Shown you how it all works, okay? And right now I'm actually talking at the end of about eight hours of law of acquisition, okay? So... There's a, a lot of tweaking has already been done, okay? And the last part of the Diamond Quantum School is literally three sessions of Diamond Reconnection, which vibrationally magnifies your body into the fifth dimensional energies permanently and opens your heart chakra <clears throat> permanently. And that is an initiation in itself. 
But if I didn't teach diamond quantum law beforehand and just open your heart up, I always feel that I would be irresponsible because it's the same with the old healing modalities. You go to a healer, they impart boom, 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 but your conscious and mental and emotional bodies aren't taught. And so you make no changes and come back to the healer once again. Okay, this is a really efficient way of clearing everything up by showing you properly how it all works and you experience it. Who wants another one? Shall I give you another one? Yeah. Okay, we've given you this before. All you want to do is love me. All you want to do is love me. Oh, feel your heart right now. These beautiful beings who have journeyed through the density of the 3D earth and have truly come into now connecting with our own consciousness. All you want to do is love me. And from this perspective, it's like, how could you love me? I'm so unlovable. How could you love me? And then suddenly he's turning around and you go, all you want to do is love me. Oh, my God. All you want to do is love me. Isn't that beautiful? All you want to do is love me. And you look at your partner or your relationship side of it. Oh, my God. All you want to do, you don't want to hurt me. Okay, I'm just dissolving that right now. This is, this is a, a beautiful Logos statement. All you want to do is love me. Into your finances, all you want to do is love me. Into your workplace, all you want to do is love me. Into the spirit of commerce within this world, all you want to do is love me. Okay, how many of us say no in judgment? an opinion against the spirit of commerce in the world. Can't be blessed. How can you be blessed by something that you're trying to go and get off the grid? There's a whole vibrational cleanup that has to happen there. That's what I say in my book. If you take this vibration that I am currently living a vibrational match to, okay, if I'm in self-protection and I'm having to leave somewhere to go and gain it through separation, then how can that community ever assist you to thrive and how can it thrive? You can't because I'm using separation and self-protection from something. No, love that, pour out. All you want to do is love me. All you want to do is love me and you will dissolve incredible vibrational stories. This was a part of my journey with the law of acquisition. The law of acquisition. All you want to do is love me. Okay. And then sooner or later, as you're meeting more with your divine feminine and getting to know the mother, getting to know the divine masculine, I make passage. When I'm getting out of the way with my miscreations through self-protection or whatever it is, and the divine inner child going, why can't we go there? I want to go and play with the spirit of commerce, but apparently I'm not allowed to. Isn't that interesting? The only people stopping us from any of this is us. By what we believe and what we cast judgment against, we cannot receive from with the law of acquisition. Okay, and I did this and I did these principles and they dissolved and another part would come up and they dissolved and those story vibrations would change and I grew in my sovereignty until I became able to say, and I remember this day because as a creator I could say, oh, my goodness, I can see the world now through the creator's eyes. So the creator source projected this world okay, that we are part of its framework and we are within the evolution of it and the rollout and the soul script of this world. We're actually in it, on it. <laughs> and then I became that mini creator that goes, oh, my God, all I want to do is love you. Oh, my God, just touches my my heart, my whole being. 
Okay, when I can actually become a creator of blowing out worlds of blessing as a creator, understanding quantum law, okay, I can create anything on behalf of myself. Yeah, I'm done with that. Okay, all you want to do is love me, is changing my vibrational world from the plan B perspective. When I come into the, the true reality and you have to work through, you, well, there's nothing to change or fix about it. In a whole instant, you can come up. But when you understand consciously that I'm a creator, it's like, oh, my goodness, I see what is needed over here. I will create into that. And I am a creator then that is absolutely doing something out of unconditional love. Okay, and I will create worlds. We are creators of worlds. Every time you have a thought and you think and you're breathing a world into life by the law of acquisition, you either creation stream it from another, which I say let go of. You don't need anything from I'll get it myself, thank you very much. We don't need to get something that we've gained from another creator. We don't need it to come from certain sources. That's creation streaming. What we wrap things in, what we wrap things in, we wrap things in time and space and degrees of hardship. Isn't that amazing? Let go of those things. You can receive from anywhere simply because you thunked it. Maybe we did the thunk the other day. Thunk, thunked and thunked it. If you think it, you feel it. As soon as you go, Foop, your law of acquisition is in place. You have stated how it's going to be. Okay? When you're releasing all I want to do is love you, you're saying, oh, my goodness, you know, that all just opens up. I'm in harmony. I'm in alignment. And when you become to that point where all I want to do is love me, I'm, all I want to do is love you and you have not felt it yet, I can promise you, but you're going to come into this fully and you will know it. Oh, you'll just know it. You will know it. And you touch it. Of course you touch it. You are it. But when we come into it, and this is what the Aquarian age is, is that you in your divinity will love and that will bring in the fullness of the new earth. And all I want to do is love you. All right. I think that's a perfect place to stop or expand from. <laughs> I'm currently living all that I am a vibrational match to. Now, what would you like to expand into? That's really the only space you have to live out of. Ooh. All right. We'll open up the floor. Does anybody want to um, ask a question or bring something in that's on topic would be good? Yes, Dr. Kim. So, Ruth, it seems to me, first of all, thank you so much. This was like a smorgasbord of delights yeah. um, and journeys into freedom. So it seems to me that the mind is judging everything. Mm, that it just, brain. you know, from everything from the color, my thoughts about the color of your blouse, how beautiful, you know, it now matches mine. I changed my clothes, yes. you know, to, to anything and everything. Yeah. So when you say, you know, in essence, judge not, what do we do with those automatic thoughts that have us judge everything? Great question. So that's why I teach you to come into alignment. Why do I fill you up with diamond? Call in the diamond. Call in the diamond energy into your brain. This technique, okay, that we teach, um, I do it all the time with you. It's just imparting it into the brain. And then you do it by intention. When we set up your light body, it's like pop on your light body. Any part of when you've done a 90-minute healing with me and I've set up so many things and put it into place, brings you into joy. You just pop back in, pop back into consciousness, pop back in the holy instant. In the book, The Ruthie Walk, I give you this beautiful invitation to come and do The Ruthie Walk with me. I give you two techniques in the school 
that you can use immediately, okay, to bring yourself into alignment. Okay, have we done the Ruthie walk together yet, Dr. Kim? Yes. Uh, I'll have to do it with you because, it well, it's a part of what we give you. So, yeah, there's no point in talking about this unless we have you experiencing the difference in it. So we might do that one day. It's called the Ruthie Walk, and all those that go through the school have a ball with it. It is incredible. We've already set up your perpendicular alignment and that, but when, when you do the, the Ruthie Walk, everything is about intention. Why do I call it the Ruthie Walk? It's actually called the Buddha walking meditation i discovered it so we just call it the ruthie walk just for the fun of it but when you do the ruthie walk you're actually filling up and drawing your sovereignty through from gaia through to the cosmos in a holy instant you can align okay so you can like i said click on your light body dr kim um you you have gone through the first part of the school and and or you're going through it so We've done the diamond in your heart chakra. Okay, so we do a lot of symbols that are added to your system so that your vibrational frequency is coming up. So there's a lot of work that goes in before we get to the law of acquisition. It's interesting because the mental mind wants to go straight to the law of acquisition. Then it goes, yes, I've got that because it goes tick, 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 tick. Okay, but without this relationship with you, divine feminine, divine masculine, divine inner child, which you begin to channel and bring meaningful wisdom through, okay, that brings you into harmony straight away. So it's like the greater you. So we're, uh, Dr. Kim's just getting to this point now of receiving this part of the school. Um, so I hope you don't mind me mentioning it, but it's such a vast difference to ticking something off with the mental body we have to actually empty the mental body and the ego. This is why I, we do not judge the ego. Let's answer that, Dr. Kim, okay? Your ego is not to be judged. It says um, the more I try and fix it, that's why there's nothing change or fix about you. If you use that statement in one of those moments, you'll come back into alignment. It absolutely dissolves the vibrational story. So any one of what I've given you today, use any of them and you will come back into alignment straight away that's what the alchemy does so there's nothing to change or fix about you you can't put yourself under scrutiny with it you come back into there's nothing to learn okay so the brain just wants to um, come to peace so we don't we never judge the ego so people who are still teaching you this okay walk on okay the ego and the personality, that's who I am, okay? And when I'm in alignment, I am glorious, I can tell you, okay? Nobody can tell me otherwise, okay? Be that, be that. And when you totally own it and when we bring everyone into total ownership of who they are, then your ego is a delight, okay? Absolute delight. You've got to love your ego, and in loving your ego, that's by bringing it into alignment where it's at peace. And that happens in a holy instant. As soon as we impart the diamond, as soon as we run the presence, the I am presence through us, I am in alignment. That's why I share the alignment with you because otherwise you won't feel the relaxation of your issues. Who has any issues really right now? Can you think of any? No. Okay, so what are you going to be expanding into? Anything that your soul has got written in the soul script. It's just going to happen. There's nothing interrupting it. And so we become better and better and better at it, okay, the more it's applied. It's no judgment. You know, we're not in a hurry. All right. Any other thoughts on that? How'd you go? Well, I'm still so new to this. That, um, but every time I hear some of this, it's like a, 
an enormous cleansing happens instantly in your right. It's instant. I haven't um, got the book yet. I've, I've downloaded the um, version that you can watch <laughs> or, or or use. I haven't found the been able to speak it yet, but from um, so that's all ready to go. And of course, I'm 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 ready to go in two days. So yeah, and I very very much do not want to get into. FOMO, you know, fear of missing out. So I need some, not need, I have it all available. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you like this flow of living water. If you just feel the abundance, it's just flowing through you because you exist as a soul here on the planet. You know, you just, you can't change it. Just like, just get used to the energy uh, and coming into harmony, which is this, what you're feeling now, I can feel the gentleness within you. I can feel the harmony and peace within you right now. I've seen Julie on several occasions. <laughs> this, is the, this, this is the stuff. Isn't it beautiful? And it's not yeah. hard. And you just sit in it and glow like a glow worm. <laughs> People go, what is my destiny? It's to glow like a glow worm. And then Isn't do whatever it, you want. <laughs> it takes all this pressure that you have to have yeah. all these goals and everything has to be aligned and you have to know what you're doing. And whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Yeah. yeah, that's right. It takes all the work. So there should be no, in your dialogue, there shouldn't be any work or hard, you know, you shouldn't be projecting hardship into your future. It shouldn't be no. work. And, you know, I'm, I'm imagining my, 19 hours and 50 minutes, which is the first flight. <laughs> and I just have to fill it with um, doing beautiful things, you know, just um, and allowing it in, even though you're traveling fast through space. You talked about that the other day. That's, you know, jet lags at, at all a state of mind, really. Yes, yes. When you're in alignment, you don't experience jet lag because you're actually physically present while you're moving. Sort of like a fly in a cabin of an aircraft or in your car. It's like the fly doesn't get jet lag. It doesn't, you know, go, oh, my God, I was just moving at 100 miles an hour. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, you're actually walking as, and this is the incremental expansion. You're actually expanding into the next experience and the next experience, and you're not got anything that's stopping your passage you're not blocking your own passage there's no jet lag in that me trying to catch up all the time you know like this it's not happening then because I'm actually moving essentially as a being of light through and into my own next creation okay so people who experience jet lag are actually trying to catch their body system up with where they're at through time and space it's a it's a perfect analogy Okay. And in that jet lag, you know, we're saying, oh, we're getting all of these symptoms against me and I've got this going on and that going on. It's jet yeah, lag. They, okay. They're, cre they're creating it, aren't they? And well, they're um, creating it because they've been spiritually taught that they get jet lag. Yeah. Okay. So if they were taught alignment, there wouldn't be any jet lag. You would just be going, oh, bring it on. And you take all of the light codes in and you're just like, yeah, wild. But you don't actually have to experience all of the heavy-duty systems, uh, it's symptoms that go with it, okay? You'll just rest when you feel to rest, sleep when you feel to sleep, drink lots of water, and you just move through. Don't have to have, oh, my God, my neck's out, my, my headaches thumping and things like that. Um, that's just energy. So it's like, oh, let that go. All right, so it's just keep passing it through the system, but people don't know how their systems work, and that's why we teach that. Mm. Well, that's beautiful. And I'm trying to take my own water on the plane. <laughs> I hope it's a wish me luck with that one. <laughs> well, you're so the creator. Do you need luck? By the law of acquisition, it shall oh. be so. <laughs> yes. I've already made the first moves <laughs> by asking them. So, um, yeah. And I, I use a CPAP machine to see. So um, I don't know whether you know that. This is sleep apnea. So that comes with me too. So I'm, I'm right. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> so I've got my water, that. Got my water yeah. in my ear. <laughs> yeah. 
Just remember that all of these things are a part of your law of acquisition that you've taught yourself. You're in actual fact in alignment, your gates open before you as a victor. Okay. It's like, it's just going to be the way it should be. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, make it uh, as simple as possible. I'm so glad you've got the book. You're going to gain so much. From yeah. I that. just have to master how I get it when I'm on the plane, you know, because it needs to be in my <laughs> machine. I, I mean, on my phone. You're working out. That's what you will do. It's going yeah. to come to you. Because that's point. coming. Yes, I'm going to it work just it out. It comes to you. Go, oh, that's right. I'll just, and, and I always say, you know, um, if I'm driving along, I just say, show me where the police are, okay, or slow me down so that I'm not speeding. You know, whenever those moments come up, I've always got it covered because I've already got the, the intentions in place. Okay, you don't have to be caught out by the human system because your greater you is with your permission coming in and connecting and doing all of these things. So you just put your team to work. You put them to work. Say, radio, I want to travel without any issues. Bring the souls to me that I can talk to and share information with. Sign up four people to Noble Goldman while you're on the plane. <laughs> there's things to on do the mental, on the mental places self. to go <laughs> people to meet all right i better go don't you reckon i better stop this recording all right i'll see you next week you might not